Gentlemen, welcome to the Big D's review of Fight Club. The first rule of this review is you're gonna watch it starting now. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1999 suspense flick known as Fight Club. Directed by David Fincher, released by Fox and Regency, starring Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, and Helena Baum Carter, along with, with Jared Leo and Meatloaf. It's based on the 1996 novel of the same name, Norton plays the unnamed narrator who is discontented with his white-collar job and forms a fight club with soap salesman Tyler Durden, that's Pitt's character, and becomes embroiled in a relationship with a destitute woman, Marla Singer, played by Helena Baum Carter. This film didn't quite do so well, but it... Didn't, well, in other words, it didn't manage to meet the expectations, but however, managed to get good reactions from critics and everyone. And was cited as one of the most controversial and talked about films of 99. It later found commercial success on DVD and establishing the film as a cult classic. So here we go with the story. The narrator, an automobile recall specialist, is unfulfilled by his job and possessions and suffers from chronic insomnia. To cure this, he attends support groups posing as a sufferer of diseases. His bliss is disturbed when another imposter, Marla Singer, begins attending the same groups. The two agree to split with groups when they attend. On a flight home from a business trip, he meets soap salesman Tyler Durden. The narrator returns home to find his apartment and all his belongings have been destroyed by an explosion. Disheartened by his material loss, he calls Tyler and they meet at a bar. Tyler tells him he is trapped by a consumerism. In the parking lot, he asks the narrator him, they have a fist fight. So the narrator moves into Tyler's home, a large dilapidated house in an industrial area. They have further fights outside the bar, which attract growing crowds of men. And the f fights move to the bar's basement where the men form Fight Club, which routinely meets. And I always like this part when they do the rules in Wild View. Even though it's been years since I last saw this one, I tried to rewatch this and wasn't quick enough to catch it, but anyway. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. And the second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Third rule, someone yells stop, taps out, goes limp, the fight is over. Fourth rule, only two guys to a fight. Fifth rule, one fight at a time, fellas. Sixth rule, no shirt, no shoes. Seventh rule, fights will go on as long as they have to. And the eighth and final rule, if this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. And boy, the fun begins. Boy, it's intense and brutal. <laughs> anyway. Now, later on, Marla overdoses on pills and telephones the narrator for help, but ignores her. But Tyler goes to her apartment to save her, and they begin a sexual relationship, much to the narrator's irritation. Tyler warns the narrator never to talk to Marla about him, but he blackmails his boss for his company's assets to support Fight Club and quits his job. More new members join Fight Club, including Robert Bob Paulson, a man with Heskick, testicular cancer, whom the narrator had made in a support group. Of course, that's a Meat Loaf's character. Tyler then recruits the, their members to a new anti-materialist and anti-corporate organization known as Project Mayhem without the narrator's involvement. Yes, it's like, so the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. <laughs> anyway... The group engages in subver subversive acts of vandalism, increasingly troubling the narrator. After the narrator complains that Tyler has excluded him, Tyler reveals that he was the one who caused the explosion 
at the narrator's condo. When Paulson is killed by the police during a botched sabotage operation, the narrator tries to halt the project. He follows a paper trail to cities Tyler visited before, discovering Project Mayhem has spread throughout the country like wildfire. In one city, a project member addresses the narrator as Mr. Durden. Confused, the narrator calls Marla and discovers that she also believes he is Tyler. And Tyler appears in his hotel room and reveals they are dissociated personalities. The narrator assumed the personality of Tyler when he believed he was sleeping. Now to the ending, five seconds to stop. Go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below to avoid the ending spoilers. If you've seen the movie already, continue on. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, you've been warned. The narrator blacks out. When he returns to the house, he uncovers Tyler's plans to erase debt by destroying buildings that contain credit card records. He apologizes to Marla and warns her that she is in danger, but she is tired of his contradictory behavior and refuses to listen. He tries to warn the police, but the officers are members of the project. He attempts to disarm the explosives in one building, but Tyler subdues him. With Tyler holding him at gunpoint on the top floor, which is where we started at the beginning, that narrator realizes that he, as he and Tyler are the same person, the narrator is holding the gun. He fires it into his own mouth, shooting through his cheek, and what happened after that? Tyler dies. And the narrator ceases mentally projecting him. Project Mayhem members bring a kidnapped Marla to the building. In holding hands, the narrator and Marla watch as the explosives detonate, collapsing buildings around them. Yeah. End of story, my friends. So, what did I think of Fight Club? Well, though it's been years since I last saw the movie, I'm going to say it's absolutely a blast. I mean, this was the most brutal flick I had seen in my late teens and what have you. I mean, I was blown by it. I didn't know what to think of this, even though I saw clips of it, especially with the narrator attacking his own self. And especially when um, the narrator and Tyler steal um, fat from a... Yeah, actual fact from a liposuction clan to create, um, soap and why have you, because that's what they need. Yeah, richest, creamiest fat of all. Fat of the land. <laughs> uh, this film has some pretty funny dialogue and, well, lines and moments and all that jazz, but some of it's a little weird and odd, but some of it's pretty edge and, well, edge and pad suspenseful. You just... No, you you should get the point. Fight Club is easily a mixed bag and what have you. Now, there were some things that were from the book. Uh, that were from the book. I won't bring them up, though, that he, they had left out of this movie. But even so, I think Fight Club is so brutal. It has a good cast. I mean, I liked Edward Norian and Brad Pitt's performances. Helena Baum Carter was good, so was... Meat Loaf, and Jared Leo, way before he was Joker in Suicide Squad as Angel Face, a young Fight Club recruit and member of Project Mayhem. Oh yeah, and there was also Zach Grenier who plays um, the narrator's boss. So anyway, the story's pretty good, but like I said, the fighting was brutal and what have you, the cast was pretty good, and I think you know the rest. So, the question is, would I recommend Fight Club? Hell yeah, you need to see it. I also liked um, David Fincher's direction, I almost forgot about that, and the music done by the Dust Brothers, I thought that was pretty good too. So anyway, yes, Fight Club, look into it. I think you might like him, what have you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what are your thoughts on Fight Club? Please tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below. 
Subscribe to my channel as well and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me again tomorrow when I bring to you my second live stream of the month where I'll be doing a live stream of the original Bedazzled tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central Time. And also catch my Saturday morning TV log of Black Star as well. Anyway, thanks for watching my review of Fight Club. And if you like this, you might want to check out these other recent reviews. In the upper left-hand corner is a movie you might like if you've seen Fight Club, but not this, A Clockwork Orange, which I reviewed last week. Or go to the upper right-hand corner for my review of A Guilty Pleasure of Mine, Black Dog, which me love starred in the previous year. Or, if you want some more brutality, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my recent review of Gladiator. In the bottom right-hand corner, is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.